What's up everyone, Buzzy Games Beth here. Today, let's learn how to morph into any kind of character anytime we click on some kind of rig. So right now I'm using a plugin called Load Character Pro and you can spawn in you know, any kind of rig possible of somebody that you want to spawn, uh, morph into. So in this case, I want to morph into Buzzy Games Mike. So I'm just gonna write his name there and then I'm gonna go ahead and click the button and then it spawned right there. Very weird spawn. <laughs> And one thing about this plugin is that it spawns in pretty weird. The head is kind of uh, missing. Well, it's like in the middle of the rig. It's behind. It's it looks weird, but if you hop inside of your, um, you know, if you test it out, it looks just fine. So uh, looks can be looks can be deceiving. Cool. So once we have our rig, go ahead and anchor our humanoid root part because we don't want this uh, rig to go anywhere and then go ahead and add a click detector as well as a script. All right, so inside of our script, we have two variables for our model as well as our click detector. Now, inside of our function, we have two variables for our player as well as for uh, cloning the model. Now, anytime a player clicks on this model, the humanoid root part is going to be unanchored and we're going to go ahead and create a clone of that model uh, into the workspace and into our player so that we morph into that character. And then we'll go ahead and call our function. Okay, we'll go ahead and test out our game. So there's Buzzy Games Mike. I'll click on him and ta-da! I morph into him. How cool is that? So cool. So full scripts and models will be posted on our website very soon. So check us at buzzy.gg or the link is in our description. As always, have fun creating you guys. Come join our Discord, you know, for more Roblox content, you know, in a community of developers. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.